Welcome back to another video on the channel here today, ladies and gentlemen. As you can tell by the title, it is time to go and get our betta fish for our five gallon betta fish aquarium that we set up the other day for my girlfriend. We're gonna go ahead and head to the local fish store. We're gonna let her pick out one. It has been a minute since we have had a betta fish, man. Like I told you guys in the last video, she had one before. Unfortunately, we had to get rid of it when we moved, but it is time to get another one, man. I'm excited for it. I know she is super excited for it as well. Hopefully they will have some nice ones there. We haven't uh, checked out their betta fish in a while actually. So I don't know if they're gonna have a bunch. I don't know what kind they're gonna have. I don't know what, what colors they're gonna have. I don't know what quality it's gonna be, but this fish store is normally fantastic. So I'm expecting them to have some good stuff there and I'm sure she's gonna find something awesome. So we're gonna take you guys there right now. It's about 45 minutes away from us, which I mean, there is another fish store closer, but we really like this fish store, man. So I'm gonna have all their info in the description down below. If you guys wanna check them out, feel free. I don't know if they ship anywhere, but if you guys are in the Washington area and you wanna check it out, the links to all their stuff will be in the description down below. But we're gonna head over there right now. Just pulled up to the fish store. We are about to go inside. We are here at Tropical Fish and World in Bonnie Lake, Washington, if you guys wanted to know where it was. But we are gonna go inside and we are gonna have my girlfriend pick out a betta fish. Now, before we do, babe, it is time for you to get it. Are you excited? I'm excited. Do you know what kind you want, male or female? I'm assuming male, right? Male. And mm -hmm. do you know what color you're gonna go with? Like, you know, I like the white ones. I I've been like saying the white, white ones. Either white or if we can find that rose. The rose one with the rose, the petal, rose one. petal. Is that what it was called? I think so, It was yeah. so pretty. Yeah, so either white or the rose petal. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if we can't find that here, then we'll probably end up going to look at another store, probably PetSmart or something, which I'd rather get the fish here at my local fish store as opposed to PetSmart. But worst comes to worst, we'll go check one of those places out. But we're going to go ahead and head inside now, guys. We're inside checking out the betas. Here they are. Ooh. That one's really nice. I like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. This one's really pretty too. Ooh, look at this one. Super nice. So what you think can be? Really yeah, you like that one? Yeah. I like the colors on it too. Super pretty. I like this one too. This one kind of reminds me of our old betta fish. Yeah, that one looks a lot like a soul. Yeah. I think that's what it was. Yeah. But bigger fish. Guys, this betta fish is beautiful. Oh my god, it won't turn. It's hard to see it on camera, but it is beautiful. Look at those fins, the colors. Oh my god. Guys, check out the bearded dragons. Lovely, lovely. They got tortoises in here as well. All right, guys, we are back at home. Unfortunately, the camera did die at the store while we were filming. I was literally recording some Russian tortoises. <laughs> and it just died on me, which is unfortunate. But we are back at home and she did pick out a betta fish, man. So you want to do the honors, babe? You want to show them, explain why you got this one? I think it looks beautiful, okay? It was, she was kind of 50-50 on it, but she, she ended up going with this one. So pretty. Check them out. Obviously, it's a male. Now, I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. I don't, there we go. It, it's obviously white, but... It's got like a golden tint to it almost on its fins and its tail and everything like that. And it is just beautiful. It's probably a little bit harder to see right now in the bag. Hopefully you can see it better in the tank, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to float it for probably like five or 10 minutes just so it can get used to the temperature in the tank versus the temperature that it's in right now. And the, then we will go ahead and put it in the actual tank and hopefully you guys can see it better then. We're going to go ahead, set this bad boy in here. Oh, oh. Man, it, it looks so beautiful in the tank already, just floating in the tank. It looks so beautiful. I cannot wait to get it in there. I know this is supposed to be 
uh, you know, more so a surprise for my girlfriend. It is going to be her tank. I even got her this little, uh, this little baby siphon right yeah. here to clean it. Yeah. You know, for <laughs> water changes and stuff. So it is going to be her tank, but it's going to be so nice seeing that fish swimming around in here. It's the planted aquarium look as well. It's just... I'm so excited, man. Like, I love big fish. I love saltwater tanks. I love Oscars. But I also love the basic stuff like betas, man. So we're going to go ahead and give this fish about 10 minutes to acclimate. And then we're going to go and release it into the tank. All right, guys. It's been a little bit longer than 10 minutes. It's been about 25 minutes. But that's perfectly fine. Fish is fine in the bag. It's a little bit better for him anyway. So he has more time to acclimate. acclimate. You what? So he has more time to acclimate. <laughs> Um, but we are going to go ahead and dump them out over the sink. Don't like to cross contaminate the water. I mean, Petco, Pet Smart especially, but I wouldn't be too mad if I poured this in the tank. However, it's always better safe than sorry to uh, do it this way. Just always, always, always uh, drain the water out first. Okay. Get close up of this baby. Little man going to his new hole. Come on. Big ass net, hold on. Oh my God. They grow up so fast. Such a beautiful beta, guys. Oh my God. I love it, I love it, I love it. There is the beta right there. Kind of shied down into the corner, just obviously because it's in its new home. But as you can see, the colors on it, it's like white and it's got like hints of like metallic kind of <clears throat> like <clears throat> goldish kind of you know like <clears throat> it's so beautiful such a nice bait and it's got this whole tank to swim around in guys like i said it's just a five gallon tank but it is enough for the beta now its fins weren't as long as some of the other ones and stuff but its color is just beautiful it does look smaller than the other ones too so i think it's still a pretty young beta but we'll have time to see it grow and uh kind of do its own thing and we'll keep you guys updated on it too this won't be the last video on this beta. We aren't going to do beta, uh, beta videos every single week, obviously, but we'll do an update video every here and again, or maybe just throw a quick clip in to a random vlog video, you know, saying that he's doing good and stuff. But do you have a name for him, babe? Are you still thinking or have you thought of I one? I haven't thought of it. No? No. You think we should let them decide or you want to think of one some more? Ooh, maybe this should come in. Drop some names in the comment section down below. Alright guys, go ahead and drop some names in the comment section down below. Maybe whichever one gets the most likes or whichever one we like the most. And uh, we'll kind of do an update video in the future and tell you what we ended up going with. But I think it looks it looks beautiful. The tank, the beta, everything about them, guys. Like, it's just perfect. He's kind of still acclimating and getting used to it. Getting used to the water, getting used to being in a new environment as well. But I'm sure as uh, time goes on and the lights go out, uh, he'll kind of find his own way around the tank and... Uh, be comfortable in here he's got some hiding spots under the plants and everything like that as well but it's a very beautiful beta very beautiful tank setup and uh i'm happy with it i think it looks great mm -hmm. are you happy with it baby you happy I'm to so find happy. me finally i have i've been asking you so long for another and beta uh-huh and i finally have it and i think it looks so good yeah we were gonna choose this one and there was another one we were gonna choose too there was a couple beautiful there ones was, there yeah and uh, it made us want to do even another beta tank, but I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future. But so far, guys, there's the beta and the beta tank setup. You guys let us know what you think about it in the comment section down below. What you think about the beta, what you guys think about the tank setup, and what you think about just betas in general, man. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate how poorly betas are treated normally. You know, the small tanks they're putting in and everything. You know, people. some people put them in one-gallon tanks, which kind of sucks. But the camera is dying again, guys. So I'm going to close this video out. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below what we should name the beta and also what videos you guys want to see in the future. But I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.